or workers when they're a little bit less confident about their job think well i won't that video is amazing that is an economist from jp morgan saying very clearly that the only way apparently to stop inflation and keep the economy from going out of control is to make workers feel so uncertain in their jobs that they don't speak up and ask for pay rises that is just wild to me <laughs> like the idea and she puts it as if you know the bank of england wow they've got such a tough job here i don't um envy them their terrible job of having to step in and set an interest rate that's so high that it makes everyone feel so uncertain in their jobs that they will stop asking for better working conditions and better pay what kind of a world do we live in where in order for our economy to work we have to make people feel more and more precarious in their living conditions and their working conditions and the reason i wanted to point this video out is because if you are speaking up about something at the moment and you feel like the whole world is against you and that you're pushing up against this mountain that's because you are. You know, she could not have been more clear in that video that this is by design. This is the way that the system is designed to work. And so, you know, I see a lot of people kicking themselves for, you know, not knowing what to do or feeling like they're having to push a lot or maybe they feel like they're being a problem. That's because you are designed to feel like you are a problem. The system does not want people who work to feel as if they have a voice or that they can do anything about it because if they do then they might ask for increases in their wages and might get them and then their logic is well then companies will have to charge more there's no other option other than them charging more you know maybe they should reduce their record-breaking profits perhaps that feels like that could be another option but no let's keep the workers in their place instead so yes that video is incredibly enlightening because i talk about this sometimes about how you know there's this battle going on right now between the labor movement and I would call it like, you know, just the big companies, the institutions of the economy. And this is just a perfect example of them just talking openly about that battle that's happening, wanting to keep workers feeling fragile, feeling precarious in their work so that they don't agitate for any kind of change. But if you're doing that and you're feeling bad about it, just know it's okay. It's okay. You're just working against the system.